So what you're seeing here is um, da it's um, Dallas News's site, and you're seeing it right now on my iPad. And as you can see, it's optimized for the iPad, so I can like you know um, I can zoom in, I can read the articles closely, and um, unfortunately right now I don't have like an iPhone to show you that. But if you have like an iPhone or an Android device, you get to see the same site, you know, optimized for that. And as you can see right here, where my finger is. That's a banner ad by Walmart. So we're just going to zoom in so you can see that. And then if you go up, there's another banner ad um, from Colorado, like Experience Colorado Springs. And basically, what this is about is that, you know, Burrell Associates, they just did this whole research and they saw that in, like, you know, by the end of this year, Dallas itself would have generated um, 3.46 million in mobile ads that were delivered through mobile browsers um, within the Dallas market to um, to users. So, and you know, they, the, um, this site, the Dallas Morning News themselves, at first they had, um, I think it was like 33,000 unique visitors monthly um, in 2009. And that grew to 190,000 in by the end of that year, by the end of 2009. So, as you can see, like you know, mobile ads are very successful in mobile sites. And you're, you know, if you're viewing this from your own smartphone, then these would be optimized, and then you know, you could sort of see when people click on your ads.